Hello traders, be most welcome once again to this series of educational videos that FXEM has for you. My name is David Londoño, I'm a trader and a market analyst and today's video is about a summary of the Nasdaq. So let's start with some technical analysis. Right now I just want to mark we are in the weekly time frame of Nasdaq. So what I want to show you is how the liquidity has been provided. We have the buy side liquidity from the 2021 and we have a liquidity pool of uh, the sell side liquidity of 2022 and 2023. I want to show you something that I found very interesting is that since these two points are higher time frames points of interest, uh, what I want to show you is that if we take that our equilibrium point is on 59.21, just above this liquidity quarterly pool we have because right here we have, we can see these two higher highs, these two swing highs that are almost the same. Both of them belongs to the second quarter. So that's a, a pool we have there. So we have lower, like a medium time frame liquidity pool and a higher time frame liquidity pool right here. So what the price might be doing. Right now we can see it is struggling, just rebalancing this volume imbalance we have there and we can expect by the end of the year some of price rebalancing here playing around and then uh, of course this is merely speculation uh, according to the way i i read the charts and my own strategy but please remember these are not trading ideas i'm not showing you how i am gonna trade this those are just some insights of understanding the the charts and it might help you with your own strategy so what I'm watching here is that we have also this volume imbalance just above the liquidity we have and that's very near to our equilibrium point from this premium to this discount. So I found very probable that next year we can seek this buy side liquidity in order to go for the sell side liquidity of the higher time frame. This is just a possibility of course because right now we have a change on the structure here that of course it has to be confirmed. Why is that? Because it has to break this high in order to confirm the change on the structure and that we are on the bullish side again. Because after this movement, we have been on a bearish market. So uh, that's how I will consider it during this year, right? So this is something I want to see like a wrong change on the structure and then a seek up the sell side liquidity. What you can do is always is no more fundamental analysis here on our FXCM platform. So you can just check our inside articles to see if they're in hand with, with your own reading of the charts and then you can make decisions. So this will be all for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to share and subscribe and I will see you on the next training session. See you there.